Hey, hello gamers, ladies and gentlemen, I'm VK and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the uh, console in Crusader Kings 3, how to enable that, how to go into what is called debug mode. Now, we're going to be doing this for Microsoft Store, uh, so this isn't really useful for any of you guys that are using Crusader Kings 3 on Steam, but there are plenty of tutorials uh, on YouTube, I'll leave some in the description down below, that are for you. And if you guys really want me to do a tutorial of my own, I will but this is for Microsoft Store users because it's actually a lot harder for them to do that because you have to create your own file so pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating this file right here now it doesn't matter how it's called it just matters that it ends with dot bat all right so that's what we're going to do I'm actually going to delete this file just to, to prove a point <laughs> and then we're going to be opening notepad now that's pretty much the easiest uh, that all of you guys have for me it's called cloth look but uh, for you guys it should be called notepad so uh, let's go with that boom there it's on my other monitor but there you go and then you're going to have to uh, copy paste uh, this line in. It's in the description. Don't worry. You can just copy it there, put it in, starting with start shell and ending with debug underscore mode. That has to be exactly in there. And then we're going to be saving it. Now, the name again doesn't matter. So uh, we could just say, you know, uh, CK3 cheat, right? Something like that. Um, and then we uh, sh select uh, save as all files and we uh, name CK3 cheat. Uh, with dot bat so we just have to finish it with dot bat and then we can uh <laughs> some lovely images there we can uh save it uh, on our desktop it doesn't really matter where you save it but it's easier on your desktop and uh, there you go ck3 cheat dot, dot bat that's what we've created that's what we've done and now all you have to do is run the game from this that is the most crucial part right there you don't start the game from you know your regular ck3.exe or um, from Xbox app or Microsoft store, you just started from that on your desktop. That is now essentially your launcher. Then you can just uh, hit play or resume whatever you want. I'm just gonna make a, a new one to uh, show you guys. New game, choose Petty King Merchad. What a chad. And then all you wanna do is hit the button that is uh, located right under escape. See, that's the console. I can now type in commands like uh, cache 5,000. And as you can see here, uh, as soon as I press enter, Boom, I've got 5,000 extra monies, right? So that's freaking awesome. What is important is if, if that button doesn't work for you, if the button under escape doesn't work, there is another link in the description with some uh, alternate alternative uh, commands that you could use some some shortcuts and, you know, key combinations uh, because it really depends on your keyboard uh, where you're located. I'm in Belgium, so that's, that's what's working for me. And that's actually the most universal one that uh, does work, but it could be something like control shift alt, control shift C, I believe, control alt C. There's lots of combinations uh, that you can just read up there and, and try out, but that's the one that's working for me. And I assume that's the one that's going to be working for you guys. There is also a link in the description though, with all of the, um, well, assumed uh, console commands that you can run and things that you can do what's also pretty useful to know is uh you can go to a character you can also uh delete that uh you know console box by uh, clicking the same button you can open it and close it so there you go and then you can go to your character or any other character really and uh, you see it says debug and ping that's also how you know that it works but uh let's say we go to this guy right here uh which is pretty much like what is this like this is a neighboring ruler so it's not really an enemy but you know let's say i really don't like this guy i could right click it take title and vassals boom that is now mine if that's how you choose to play i could go to another ruler and uh i could uh click him i could imprison him right i can choose to uh ransom him uh negotiate a release torture him if i really wanted to do that execute I offer him vassalage these are all now options that i can do because i've imprisoned them which would be harder in the in the regular game but because i've imprisoned them by cheat i now get all those options uh you can also make someone your lover your rival your friend you can make them like you uh yeah dislike you you can add hooks which i could go into a full video just explaining what hooks are but uh yeah you can add them to your court you know let's say you uh, find somebody in somebody else's realm and you're like i kind of like that guy like here look at this guy or earl dumbnell's guest and you can like i kind of i kind of want that guy in my court boom there you go he's in your court now <laughs> playing in your ball game so uh there you go you could you could totally do stuff like that and uh yeah you can uh trigger an era of crusades or jihads you know expose known secrets all that stuff you can now do because you've uh, enabled the debug. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, let me know what you guys do with it because uh, I've got a feeling many nations are going to be destroyed. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoy this video. Leave a like on it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get ding-a-ling notified or whatever. <laughs> and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.